this is Shraddha from Moody Learners and Right Brainers. So today I'm going to show you equations. Now let's see what are equations. Now whenever you want to do any problem solving like plus or minus or multiplication or subtraction, then we will come to this particular video. Now if you see what are we doing over here, we are going to introduce two types of equations. One would be a little simple one and another would be a little complex one so you can see a two step and then a three step and you can also make it four step let's see how the equations are taken to understand what are the equations or what are dot cards to understand the importance of dot cards now dot cards are the true value of numbers like example 11 can be represented as 11 quantities now 1 can be represented as 1 quantity, 4 can be represented as 4 dots, then the 5 dots, 6 dots, if you can count them, anything that can be counted becomes a true value. But can you count a number 10? You cannot, because it's just a symbol. But how to relate symbols to dots? That is what we are trying to achieve here, as well as we are trying to make our child more brain or uh, stimulated or more of a brilliant child you can say because maths is something that is inherited maths can be easily thought by the brain to itself because the brain is given the capacity of intuitions you can intuitively understand how many quantities are there if you see our grannies they could easily do it they can go into the kitchen and know exactly how much to add chili powder how much to add salt and things like that so maths is something inherited in our mind in our right brain over the time when the child becomes 0 to 5 the now let's begin 9 plus 3 is equal to 12 minus 1 is equal to 11 this becomes a two step equation now I'm going to show you another set another step 20 divided by 10 equals 10 plus 2 becomes 12 minus 3 becomes is equal to 9 so for example 2 into 2 becomes that is equal to 4 that's right <laughs> 4 again again 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 another one you can ask your child which is 20 if they pick up the right answer then great if not then tell them then so another example will be 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 another one 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 another one could be 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 now here I have not used the plus or the minus symbol flash card another could be 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so I have not used the particular um, these symbol cards you can directly verbally also say plus minus is equal to or you can demonstrate this plus minus equal to to the child another one is 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 another one is 2 into 2 into 2 becomes 8 so these are the 8 dot cards so 
cube of 2 you can tell your child cube of 2 is equal to 8 in this way 4 into 2 is 8 this way you can tell your child or you can also say 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 so in both the both the cases you have to show the answer as 2 answer as 8 8 plus 3 is 11 minus 1 is 10 so these are some equations that I am trying to explain another set of equation 20 divided by 10 plus 2 minus 3 is equal to 9 so there are variety of equations that you can show to your child from cube to square to plus minus subs multiplication anything